Went through the whole day yesterday, thinking it was Wednesday. Being at home all this time without that regular work schedule really messes with you a little bit, doesn't it? But I'm pretty sure this is Friday, and I am very sure that this is our 10th episode of Drawing Race Cars. Can you believe that? It has flown by. Who knows how many we'll have to do while we're all stuck inside the house, but uh, I tell you what, it's worth it. It's been, uh, it's been some good, good drawing time, and I'm glad to get back to my hobby. What other hobbies have you gotten back into? Anything? Uh, I know uh, maybe some gardening or something like that. There's, it's limited these days. I know we're walking the dogs a lot more, right? I know I have. Um, so, first of all, I'm Boris. If this is your first time watching, what we do here is we draw race cars. I work for Joe Gibbs Racing. As you can see, I'm wearing a shirt. My buddy JJ at the race shop, he and Jenny and a few others are in charge of, of getting these shirts and the, uh, the things you buy, like even these die-cast cars, out to all our fans. So they, they approve the designs. Sometimes they brainstorm the designs. This one from last year. And it shows all of our big wins from 2019. It was a really good season. Makes me really want to get back to racing. How about you? So anyway, shopjgr.com. A lot of this stuff, even the diecast, you can get them for yourself there. But shout out to JJ and Jenny and, and, all, and all the crew, Linda and Tina. And today we're going to draw Martin Truex's number 19 auto owner's car. Now, there's no coincidence. That's the car that's sitting right here on my desk. See that? And the reason I picked this one today... We've had 10 episodes, well, we've had 9 episodes, and we haven't drawn any blue race cars. And blue's one of my favorite colors, and the blue on this auto owner's car is beautiful, beautiful, however you say it. So, we're going to draw that. And the logo, look at that, big, bold A. We can all draw an A, right? We've had some tough logos this, this, uh, these past 9 episodes, so got your really bold, simple logo there. But just because it's simple doesn't mean it doesn't stand out. That's the whole purpose of it being simple, right? You can see it on the racetrack. So get your drawing materials together. Paper, pen, marker, color pencil, watercolors, finger paints, uh, whatever you can find, really. Chalk, sidewalk chalk. Yeah, you can watch this on the phone, and you can draw on your driveway with sidewalk chalk. If anybody does that, you know, I actually, that's just, I just gave myself an idea that I might do that next week. Sidewalk chalk art. Okay, see, just talking about it helps you get ideas, doesn't it? Get your stuff together. We are going to do a little show and tell because I've got a lot of drawings that you all sent in. I mean, I think I have like eight or ten of them. Got to show them off because they're so good. You get your pen and paper or whatever you're going to draw with together. We'll dive right into the Martin Truex Jr. Auto Owner's Camry drawing. And I have a special drawing that we're going to tie into that. It's a surprise. I'm not going to tell you. But you have to draw the car to get the special drawing. Okay? All right. So, show and tell. Let me see here. First of all, we have a drawing from Kale, who's nine years old. I just want to talk about how awesome this drawing is that Kale did. That's the Ream Supra. That's what Christopher Bell drove last year for us in the Xfinity series. In fact, I have the car somewhere around here. I just want to show you what a great job Kale did. Look at that. Matched it up perfectly. I'm just so impressed with that, Kale. Thank you so much for sending that drawing in. Beautiful colors. It's got the rear view mirror in there, the roll bars, the driver. I like the driver, kind of looks like a ninja. It's got the helmet on, got that cool Supra roof that has a little bit of a, a uh, hilly shape to it. Got the grill, the headlights. We said the he headlights kind of look like upside down frying pans. That's how we drew them yesterday. Good job, Kale. Next one, this one's from Connor. Connor sent in, I'm going to zoom in so you can see different parts of Connor's drawing, but sent in that number 18 Interstate Batteries Camry. I like it. I like it a lot. I love the shadow in there. To me, that shadow just really makes that car look like it's going fast. It's sitting on the track. It's just flying by. Got the window net. Great job on the number, too. That 18 is a hard number. Perfect green for Interstate Batteries as well, Connor. Really good job. Thank you for watching. Thank you for drawing. All right, we got Owen and Tyler. They've been watching many episodes. They sent in their their racing Tundras. Owen went with number 51. That's one of Kyle's favorite numbers, Kyle Busch. He's got the driver in there. <laughs> Look at that driver helmet in there with the eyes. It looks like that driver's a little worried. I, know, I can't tell, but I really like that angle he got, the flames he got, made it orange. Got the green fuel filler in there, and that grill. 
you can tell immediately that that is a Toyota Tundra. I'm telling you what, that is a great job, Owen. And then Tyler also did a great job. He also did Kyle Busch's truck, the number 51. And look at that. Big, bold Toyota Tundra grill on there. Wheels. He was looking at some great designs. The spoiler. Everything looks great on there, Tyler. Good job. Got the driver name above the window. Kyle Busch. Look at that. What I really like about this is these were both drawn while watching our show. Like, we're all drawn together. And they come in, came up with two completely different drawings that are both awesome. That's what I like. See how that, even though we're drawing the same thing, we each add our unique spin to it. So good job. And then we had Lynn. Lynn sent in the Lightning McQueen drawing. I like it a lot. I like that she worked on shading in there. Got the shading in there. That's what I really like about this. And the, the eyes are really good too. Every part of it's really good, but great job on that. Also, the super that Lynn did. That's the wide body super. She worked on the wide body. That's good. There are, there are wide body supers out there that race, so nice job. Then you had Devin. Now Devin sent in a ton of drawings. I'm going to go through them a little quickly, but Devin, thank you for watching almost every episode. There's his Supra. Big old Toyota logo on there. Did a good job. I like the hash marks for the grill. Makes it look realistic. Headlights look good. That was a great job. Got the seats in there. See, he's shaded in the seats. Perfect. And then he sent in a drawing he did of Dale Earnhardt. Look at that. That's the first person portrait we've seen. Maybe we'll try that on a drawing show one day. It's, it's, it's not easy, but it's, you can do it. We'll try it one day. Devin did a good job here. Also drew the car number. Dale Earnhardt. Did a few more. He drew our DeWalt hauler. 20 Eric Jones. He's got the car on the lift gate back here. Awesome. Great detail. Look at that. Miko. Miko drives this hauler in the real world. He would love this. I'm going to send it to him. All right. Good job, Devin. There's his, his truck, the Tundra. And then there is his uh, interstate battery. That's the kind of battery that goes in your car. See, he's got the little electrical currents going out there just to show it's a battery. I like that. Good job. Well, yesterday I did some M&M's artwork. Did you see that? Well, immediately following our show, we had a little bit of a disaster with Nola, my dog, who you met on one of the episodes this week. So, yeah, Nola kind of uh, made a mess here. Crashed my drawing all over the floor. Oh my gosh, Nola. But she said she was sorry. She said, I forgave her. It was all right. But uh, good thing I got a picture of it, huh? The Eminem's Art Challenge. All right, so show and tell's over. It's time to draw. Are you ready to draw? I'm ready to draw. There's our super from yesterday. I'm actually going to turn my canvas around. And we are going to start. Turn it up like that for a second. We are going to start drawing. Are you ready? I need a fresh canvas here. Because we're drawing Martin Truex Jr.'s auto owner's car. Can you see that on there? Oh, perfect, perfect. All right. Now, here's what I want you to do. You've got your piece of paper, right? Well, what you want to do is leave space around for the car. All right? We want to leave some space for our special drawing. So I'm only going to fit the car in this area. Now, a lot of times we have we have drawn with lines. We're going to take a little different approach today. And what it's going to mean is that your car is not going to be as perfect. It's going to be a little bit, you know, maybe a little bit odd angle, but it's all going to work in the end, I promise, with our special drawing, okay? All right. So I'm going to try to fit it in that space. You leave some space on your paper. I'm going to zoom in so we can fit it in this space. All right. I've got my black color here. Going a little bit thinner. All right. So I'm going to draw it at, let's see, kind of a quarter angle like we've done. Okay. But first we're going to practice drawing this A. <clears throat> That's the logo for auto owners that does car insurance and other kinds of insurance that protect our vehicles if they get into an accident. We're going to look at how to draw this A. So the first thing I want you to do is draw a line like this. Look at that. Line up like that. All right. I made it thick because that's a thick line. We'll have to make it even thicker probably. And we can make a, a rectangle. We're drawing the logo on the hood of his car. 
just so we can practice that right up front, have an easy drawing. See it's that part of the A. Now we want to draw a little line like we're drawing an I, actually, even though it's an A. There's a little bit at the bottom of an I in it. Look at there. Okay, now we have to draw this other part of the A like this. Start at the top and come down like that along this same line. See that? And it's thinner, much thinner than that leg. Okay? I call those the legs of the A because it kind of looks like two, two legs. Next you need the cross. Now it really looks like an A. See that? But there's one more part to this A. Can you see it? The swoosh, the little loop, the little swoop, whatever you call it. Well, you catch up and then we'll go into that part. We're going to make it super easy to do that. Okay, now what you want to do is, you know how you know a period is just a dot, right? In a sentence, usually we put the period over here. But today we're going to put the period in front of the letter, right about there. And we're going to end up connecting that to make the, the little loop on the A that's over here. See that? So all you have to do is you draw your period and then you just connect them somehow like this. Just connect them like it's a little leg, almost like it's the letter J. And then just make that dot bigger and bigger and bigger like this. There you go. Now you pretty much know how to draw the hood of that car. It's going to come in handy in a second. I'm going to start a new piece of paper here. But that's all you have to do to draw that auto owner's A. So I'm actually going to take that and I'm going to shrink it down a little bit and I'm going to keep it over here for good use later. Okay? Alright. Now let's draw this blue car. That's why I picked it because it's blue. So we are going to draw our line for the bottom. Like this. Got it? That's going to be the bottom of the door. What's next? Well, let's draw the nose, okay? So for the nose, what I want you to do is we're actually going to make it like a candy cane. Right there. See that? It's not quite a full candy cane, but it's a candy cane kind of look. Maybe it's more like the letter J. Can you believe we're going to start with the letter, the letter J, and we're going to turn this into the auto owner's race car of Martin Truex Jr. Trust me, it's going to work. I hope. No, I think it is. It is. It's for sure going to work. All right. Got that letter J in there? The next thing, I'm going to zoom so you can see it better. The next thing we're going to do is, let's see. We are going to bring the J up a little bit and make the hood like this. So we've actually really made a full candy cane now. Look at that. Or the letter J. You can even add more of the letter J back here by drawing that little kick out that the letter J has. Oh, this is going to be a cool way to do it. Drawing race cars with letters. Could you believe it? Next, we need the roof. Okay. We're going to make the roof just kind of like a curved bubble. Like a, a frowny face. Like that. I'm going to draw in red so you can see where the difference is. But see, it's like a it's like a banana shape or a frowny face. Don't worry, this is going to be a... Well, we'll see if it's a happy drawing or not. It's not going to be a sad drawing, don't worry. See that line? So get yours in there. I'm just going to outline it in black again. Get it all set. See? All right. This is kind of looking like a spaceship, don't you think? Next I'm going to draw the trunk line and connect it down to the top of that J down there. Okay, you got that shape? Work on that shape there. Things are going to get a little crazy here, I'm telling you. This is going to be a fun one. This is going to be a fun one. Because next, we're going to learn how to draw some clouds. That's right, clouds. Can you believe that? Clouds. You heard me right. Clouds. Clouds in a race car? Why would there be clouds in a race car? Is Martin Truex flying through the sky? No, no, no. no. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, okay? So clouds are just going to be 
arches were kind of like the letter C, like this. See that? See it? All right. And we'll just make a bunch of those of different sizes. See how that kind of looks like a bird flying in the air? Keep them connected. Maybe there's a bigger one back here and then a little one over here. Look at that. It's little bumps. Just draw a few of them together like that and then end them. And then come over here and start a new one like this. See that? You can even make them crisscross a little bit. Okay. And bring them down to the car shape we drew. You see where I'm going with this? Okay. Doing something special here. You can also, I'm going to draw them on top of the car a little bit. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to go like that. Look at that. You see how I went over the car a little bit? And I made some more. Again, it's kind of like drawing little birds flying around. And you can even draw a bottom to these clouds. Keep it on the same angle as this line. Like this. So my clouds have a bit of a bottom to them. All right, and I'm just going to run them off the page a bit like that. Can you believe that? Race car in a cloud. Is it a flying race car? No, but you'll find out in a second what we're doing. All right, don't worry about this part here. You can leave that there. It's okay that it's over intersecting the cloud. That's okay. All right, let's get back to our car here now that we've drawn some clouds. And I bet some of you realize that's going to be smoke, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, remember this line we drew for the roof? We're going to mimic it. We're going to start over here and draw the same one. Kind of looks like clouds again, doesn't it? But it's not. That's part of the roof of the auto owner's car. A lot of lines here. Hopefully it's easy to keep track. I'm going to draw my clouds red so you can keep them differentiated. I don't think you should draw your clouds red. I'm just going to do it so that you can tell the difference between the car and the clouds and what I'm drawing. You keep your clouds black, okay? Or whatever color you're drawing with. I'm just doing this so you can see the difference between the clouds and the car. All right. So now remember these two arches we did? Let's connect them to make the windshield. One at the bottom, and then one at the top. Now we have a windshield. Perfect. A lot, of, a lot of arches in this one. I like this one. This is like the arch car episode. We need another arch to make the windows on the side. Like this. Keep them parallel to this arch for the roof. Parallel just means they basically follow the same path. Never touch. See? Kind of like a worm or, or something like that. Good? Well, you got that one in there. I'm just going to check some comments, make sure I'm not going too fast, let you catch up. Let's see who's out there watching. Episode 10, we're drawing Martin Truex Jr.'s Auto Owner's Camry. How cool is that? Oh, there's my, I can hear myself talking on there. we got Brenda watching, Teresa's watching, Lynn, Michelle. I'm glad you're watching, Michelle. Gage is watching. Oh, Gage says this is going to be Martin Truex's win at Richmond in the auto owner's car. That's that's a very observant, Gage. I like that. Uh, there's Josh. Petey's watching. Petey tagged a friend. That's what I really like to see. Tell your friends about this. Share it, please. Press that share button. Retweet it. It really helps us out. We want as many drawers as we can. By the way, you can watch all these episodes on uh, YouTube or any social network, but it's really easy on YouTube to find the playlist. Okay? I'll post a link here in a little bit. All right. By the way, my hat, Gibbs Gaming hat. That's our eSports team on the NASCAR Heat game. You ever play NASCAR Heat on your PlayStation or Xbox or even your PC? And also iRacing on the PC. That's our, we actually have some drivers and some teams. And of course, our real, real drivers are running them too so this Saturday and Sunday. Okay, we're back to it. You're caught up. Connect the bottom of the windows now. Look at that. Kind of made a... Uh, what would you call that? Like an orange slice shape? See that? 
like a slice of an orange. Very nice, very nice, very nice. And then I'm going to cut it in half for the B post. Now a lot of these terms and a lot of things we're doing we've done a few times, so go back and watch those episodes if you need me to slow down. Here's the spoiler. Just going to make that a little bump out right up there. Very cool. Now in a thinner, kind of lighter line, remember this line here that made our, our hood where the engine goes? We're going to follow that over here, but it's going to be lighter. It's not going to be that thick and dark. So start at the windshield and just follow that line lightly, even if you want to dash it as best you can. See how I just kind of made little dashes? I just alluded to it. It doesn't have to be full on there. It's just showing us the shape of the car. All right, we need another arch, don't we? That's right, we need an arch for the wheel. That wheel arch is going to start right about there. Okay? And all you do is you make an upside down U. Much like that. Now I'm going a little faster than normal, but we've done a lot of these in our previous nine episodes. And if you need time, you can pause, you can go back and watch. Don't worry, this isn't going anywhere. There's a U. I'm going to draw another upside down U, but I'm only going to, I'm only going to draw half of it. Because the other half, well, the tire's spinning and it's putting out some smoke. That's what all this is, is smoke. All right. Very cool. All right, now let's put our headlights in there. Now I'm gonna go a little faster. This is gonna be more of a sketch than a detailed drawing. You know, in these other nine episodes, we really got in detail with the headlights and the grill. This is just gonna be some lines because there's a lot of action happening here, right? The cars, there's smoke, there's things gonna be spinning. There's just a lot of action here. This is just a kind of a, a rough outline and that's okay. So that's what we're gonna do, all right? So I'm just going to draw a quick line like this. Whoop, that is too big and too quick. A quick line like that across the front. See that? I might even do another, another couple down here. And then a big one down here for the grill. See, we're just, we're just drawing it fast here today. Because there's a lot of action happening. See that? Just making that Camry look fast. If you want to erase in there and put the little Toyota logo, you can. See that? Put the little T. Whoop. Hello. Put a little Toyota logo in there for our Camry. Again, we're just going quick here. Oh, someone's honking out there. All right. How's yours coming together? Let's also get a headlight in there. The headlight is just a line that goes up like that for that Camry. Looking good. If you need to, you can go in and erase some of those grills just to make it look even more real. That's what I'm going to do. We're making a fast, blurry looking car here. Nice. Alright, I'm going to draw the tires. It's just a circle. Just a black, dark circle in there. I'm going to fill in the outside edges. And this one, I'm actually going to leave white because some smoke going on back there. The wheel gets the circle in the middle and of course the lug nuts. Just some dots in there. Again, things are spinning so I'm adding some swooshes in there. There's nothing perfect perfect about this car. We're just drawing a lot of action and race cars go fast. So the more blurs you draw, the faster it looks like it's going. Now we want to put that A on there. Now you remember that A we drew? We want to do that again on the hood. Make it big. See how big it is? That auto owner's insurance A on there. Oh yeah. We're going to fit it on there. Now it's white. So you want to kind of draw an outline and keep it white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a thin line and a little lighter and we're going to draw our A. Remember this line I had you draw? Well I want you to follow that above the headlight and all the way to the windshield. There you go. That's going to be the right side of our A, our auto owner's A. And then draw a little rectangle down here for the bottom of it. See that? It's like this. If it's hard to see down there, it's like a, the bottom of it, like this. 
Got that? Kind of like a hammer. All right. And then, if you're drawing with pencil, that'd be best here, but you can follow this line again, bring it all the way up to the windshield, and stop. Okay? Kind of looks like the bottom of the letter I, but we're actually turning it into the letter A. And then we need to take a line from that line you just finished and go all the way down to the other edge over here by that other headlight. So you go all the way down, it's just basically a connecting line that goes diagonally angled across the hood. Very nice. And then draw a thinner line exactly the same, but just a little bit further up, like that. Okay? See that? It's coming together. This is going to look so good. Finally, put that dot over there, and it's just a half a dot, so I'm just going to do a little arch like that. See how you can't see it all? That's okay. It's there. It, if we could see it all, it would continue out here. And if it helps you, you can draw a circle like that and then come in and erase it later. Or just do what I did and make it look like there's a, a dot there. You see how they had that, that dot on the tail of that A? One more thing. What are we forgetting? Yep, the cross section of the A. So you just draw another line there, like the number 11, and now you have an A. You can come in here and you can erase that part, or do whatever you need to do there. I'm going to clean it up a bit. Don't worry, we'll add some blue and really clean it up. But now you have the auto owner's A in there. Look how good that's looking. What's next? We need a number on the roof and on the door, right? So, if you remember our technique, I get a light line, like a gray or something, and I draw a square on the door, like this. Follow the angles of the lines you've already drawn, and draw a square. Again, if I'm going too fast for you, you might have to go back and watch our YouTube, or pause it and take a, take a second to wait, but then you slice the square in half. Now you have a space for the one, and a space for the nine. Isn't that cool? While you're doing that, I'm going to do the same thing on the roof. So see these lines we already have? Draw a line that mimics them. So see this line? Draw it over here. Look at that. It's almost the exact same line. See? You see this line? Do the same thing. Mimic it. Draw that same line and do the same thing up here. See how my squares kind of curve to the shape of the car? And then cut them in half following this line, the front line of the windshield. So, the same line right back there. You're not going to be able to see all the nine, but that's okay. Next, we want to draw in our one and our nine, and we want to fit them in those boxes. You've done this before, right? If you've been watching. So the one just has a little leg out like that, and it goes back, and then it goes down. And I just make that line thicker there, see that? And now we pretty much have a 1. And then the 9, well that's just a dot right at the top. Remember how we drew an 8? We put a dot at the bottom too, but this is not car number 18, is it? No, this is car number 19, Martin Truex Jr.'s car. So you just need to make that dot connect over here. Look at that. And now you have a 9. How easy was that? You could do that with any number. You could have put a 2 and a 0 there. You could have put a 0 and a 2. You could have put a 2 and a 2. No, we don't want to put a 2 and a 2. We don't want to put that one on there. Let's do the same thing up here. Draw the number 1. There's your 1. There's a dot for the 9. A dot for the 9 and a little cutover. And now you've got a 19 on the roof. All right, good job. All right, now I think it's time to color in our car. What do you think? So I am going to make some hash marks for our windshield, I mean our window net. And I'm going to do some hash marks, some swooshes in the windshield. If you've watched this before, that just makes it look fast, makes it look like a piece of glass or, or plastic, plastic, very heavy-duty plastic that it actually is. 
All right. I'm going to get rid of my red smoke. Yours should be not red. I just did that to show you what's going on. All right, all right. And now we've got that car coming together. Look at all that smoke going on. Well, the thing I like about this auto owner's car of Martin Truex Jr. is the beautiful blue colors. Look at all those blue colors. But they stop basically at the 19 on the door. So we got to make the same thing happen. So I'm going to pick a blue that looks like that blue to me. And to me, there it is. All right. So remember, we do not want to fill in the A or the headlights or the wheels. So fill in with blue, everything except those things. Leaving the headlights, the A, and all that clean with white. I'm going to go up the A post a little bit. I'm going to come in and fill in the inside of the A. Fill in the under part of the A, keeping the A white because that's what color it is on the real car. See? There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect. I got outside the lines a little bit, but that's okay. And remember, it goes back and it pretty much stops right at the nine, or the one, I should say. Pretty much stops right at the one. There we go. If you want to on the roof, you can outline the one and the nine in blue. That's what I'm going to do. There we go. Looking good, looking good. All right, then the back of the car is a very, 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 very dark blue. Almost a black. It's probably going to look like black on your screen, but I'm going to fill it in. Maybe it looks like a gray. But I'm going to fill that in and go to the 9. See that? Very nice, very nice. I'm going to go meet our other blue over there. There we go. And if you want to, you can go a medium blue in between the two. And I'm just going to add a little bit of that in here. See, I got my medium blue on there. Just having some fun with that. Make it look a little like there's a fade from light blue to very dark blue. And make it even a little more dark over here. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to make the wheel dark, too. Oh, I forgot the front. That's actually a little bit of a darker on the roof. See, the roof is actually closer to black. So I did that. Well, that car's looking good already. That was sort of a quick and easy car. I like that. All right. Well, I mean, we pretty much have a really cool scene we've never drawn before, don't we? Get rid of that, because I'm going to have to cover that up with our special drawing. All right, folks. Look at that. Now you've got a race car with some smoke around it. I feel like I need to outline the 19 a little bit just to make it pop even more. What do you think? That's what I want to do. If you have some things you see you want to make better that I haven't even done on mine, you should do it. You probably are seeing things I'm not seeing, and so that's really going to help yours. So go ahead and do that. I'm outlining 19 a bit just to make it pop off the screen pop off the paper. There we go. That's awesome. Okay, on the smoke you can do some things if you have a pencil or you have a, a light gray color. You could go up in here and get a gray and you could do things like this. Kind of outline the smoke. You could even draw more little bird shapes in there. Little mountains, little upside down U's. Just to make it look like it's has a lot of volume and shape. Volume just means that it has a, has some weight to it, has some shape to it. It's not flat. Look at there. All right, well, here's the option. You ever read one of those books where you're reading and it says, if you want this thing to happen, go to page 100. Or if you want that thing to happen, go to page 200. 
You ever done that? Well, that's kind of what we're doing here today. You have a choice. You can either make this a good drawing for Martin, or you can make it a drawing where he had kind of a rough race. And here's why. The smoke, that can either mean victory, like at Richmond when he won in the auto owner's car, or it could mean a spin out. So it's your choice. If you choose victory, you can stop here and you can even draw a little checkered flag out of his window like Devin did on his Eric Jones Craftsman drawing. We learned how to do uh, flag drawings in one of our previous episodes. Check that one out. So you can, you can draw a flag on there. Or you could draw the start finish line like this. Look at this. Straight line. Like that. He just crossed the finish line now he's doing donuts. You can also do tire marks like this. You don't want to draw them into the clouds, so you want to start over here and you want to do like this. Just some circles. See that? He's spinning out, he's doing some burnouts. Won the race. Having a good time. Look at all those donuts and those burnouts. And that would make a really cool drawing. Okay? But I'm going to do something different. It's up to you. You can do this or you can go with me. But I'm going to add something special to this. I am going to draw this as if you are a driver and you're coming up on Martin Truex Jr. spinning out because Joey Logano or somebody hit him and spun him out and you're coming up on it. So we're going to draw it from the cockpit view. Like the cockpit, that's what they call it in a race car, just like it's a jet fighter cockpit. I'm going to show you what we're doing. So if you want to try this, make a choice. You're going to go with the, the win or you're going to go with the wreck. I'm going with the wreck, okay? So here's what I need you to do. Remember how we left all this space on our page? In fact, I need to change something here. Remember how we left all that space around our car? Well, it's a good thing we did. Because what I want to do is I want to draw the windshield from inside another car. Okay? So I do that, that by doing this. A long straight line like that. It's just like we're drawing a windshield on the outside of the car, but we're inside the car now. We're creating a frame for our other drawing. Okay? You are going to be the driver in this drawing. Then you connect the two at the top. See that? Now our drawing has a frame around it. How perfect is that? Okay, so if you're driving the car, you're in there, what do you see in front of you? Your hands and a steering wheel, right? So let's draw that. Over here on the left side, because in NASCAR that's where we sit. I know some of you are watching where you drive on the right side. You can do that too. Maybe that's what you want to do. But first we're going to draw the steering wheel. The steering wheel is going to be a half circle. Like this. You are the driver in this drawing. You can look through the eyes of the other driver as he comes up or she comes up on Martin Truex Jr. spinning up here. Now don't worry, he's not wrecked. He's going to recover and it's going to be alright. He might even go win the race. We've seen him do it before. But right now, this lap, he's spinning out. Alright, got your steering wheel in there. It's like an upside down U. It's a half circle. Alright. Let's draw two shapes for the gloves, because you'd be able to see your own gloves, right? And maybe you make them yellow like this. You're going to draw them. That's what you're going to see on the glove. See that? See, pretend there's a steering wheel in there. That's what you're going to see. Now, I'm not going to draw all these logos, but you get what I'm saying. I'm going to draw something that looks like a glove in there. And it's going to be down here as if it's holding the wheel. And all you have to do is do that. Look at this. There's the thumb and there's the other part of the hand. See how easy that was? Look at this. We're just pretending. We're just drawing little bits of, of glove. If you were driving, you wouldn't be looking down at your glove. They'd kind of be a, a blur because you're looking at the car spinning in front of you. So that's all we're drawing there. A little mound, little thing that's holding the wheel. Got it? Let's also draw a circle here because that's the center of the wheel. Okay? And then draw two lines 
that go up like this. That's, those are the metal pieces of the wheel that just keep it together. If this was our, our car on the road, that would be a horn, but we don't have horns in NASCAR. See what we're doing? Now there's a steering wheel and two hands. Do you see how this is coming together? You're viewing from inside of the race car. All right. When I look at this, I actually probably should have done the windshield back like this, but that's okay. Probably should have come back like that. Whatever you want. You can do it like we did it before. We'll just stick with what we had before. We'll try something else the next time we do it. All right. Now, in a car, there's a dashboard. You know, in our, in our cars on the road, they have the air conditioning vents in the dashboard. Maybe there's a screen. Maybe there's uh, some gauges to tell you how fast you're going. But we have very simple dashboards in NASCAR cars. They're just straight. They're dark. They're simple. So that's all I'm going to do is draw a straight line. And then the driver has a little screen up here that tells him how fast he's going. So I want you to write the speed, whatever speed you want. This car is going to be going 132 miles per hour. Oh boy. Now most of the drivers on there, they have the RPMs, which is how fast the engine is spinning. A lot of times the drivers have the lap time on there and other things. A lot of times they don't have the speed in the real life, but I like to put that speed on there because it just makes you look like, oh my gosh, look how fast he's going as, as this wreck's happening in front of him. He sees it out the windshield. All right. There's your dashboard. There's your steering wheel. There's your speedometer. Tells you the speed. You can even put some switches over here. I'm just going to do little shapes like this. A lot of times those are buttons to turn the car on and off. There's different things going on. I'm just going to fill them in there, little little squares and rectangles. And then, all right, this is the hard part. You might not like this part, but I'm going to do it, okay? On these race cars, they have bars in the windshield so that nothing can come through into the driver's area. So I'm going to draw that to make it look realistic, but it's going to cover up our car up here. But that's okay. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to do a thick line right there, a thick line right there, and a thick line right there. I know, we just spent all that time drawing and now we're drawing bars over it, but I'm telling you, that's what the driver really sees. Through the windshield. Alright. From there, I'm just going to add in a couple more lines, make them dark because there's not a lot of light inside these cars, so it's pretty dark inside of them when they're racing. But the outside world is coming through brightly. Look at there. Now pick your color for your gloves. Kyle Busch will run a yellow glove like this, so will Eric Jones. Denny will have a purple glove for FedEx. Or you can pick whatever color you like. So I'm going to pick a purple glove for Denny. He's the one coming up on Martin Truex. Right. I'm reading the comments out there. A lot of people watching, I appreciate it. We're having fun. We just drew this drawing where either Martin Truex Jr. was doing some donuts and celebrating or he was spinning out. And you could choose whichever way you wanted to go. Which way did you go? Tell me in the comments. I'm curious which path you chose. And when you're done, make sure you send your drawing in. I'm reading some comments here, seeing what's going on. We're having a good time. It's Friday. This is our 10th episode. And we're just drawing away. So the other thing I'm going to do on here is I'm going to start filling in dark colors because there's not a lot of light in this car. So I'm going to make the bottom dark. This part's going to take longer. Really, for the most part, the drawing's done. I'm just filling in so that, that, uh, that there's some dimension and some shape to this. See? Just fill in some shadows. A lot of gray inside the car. Don't fill in the steering wheel spokes. Keep the screen uncolored. 
Look at there, look at there. See what I'm doing? Just filling in some gray. If you have watercolors or crayons or colored pencils or something like that, that'll help you out. Very nice. Well, it's been a good week of drawing. I appreciate you watching. Thank you for drawing along with Martin Truex Jr.'s auto owner's car here today. We just did a pretty cool scene where we were actually inside of a race car watching the action out on the track. See that? Look at that. You can make it even more panicky. Is that even a word? I don't know. It is today. But you're inside of a car and there's action happening up ahead of you. See it up there? Smoke. All sorts of stuff. You can even... Uh, Fill in the asphalt on the track over here. Through the windshield. Draw it around the smoke so the smoke looks more white. See how that? I, I drew some colors outside of the smoke, so now the smoke looks like it's billowing and flying around here. Really pops out. There you go. How about that drawing? Holy moly. <laughs> that was a crazy one, wasn't it? Well, like I said, thanks for watching. We just finished Martin Truex Jr.'s number 19 auto owner's Camry. And it had quite a race. Quite a race. You can tell a story with your drawings like we did today, can't you? What a nice job. So, like I said, we showed a lot of drawings today. We did a lot of fun things. And uh, thank you for sending those in and send them in more. Do some drawings this weekend. We'll have plenty of time to do that so that on the Monday show, I can post up a lot more of what you did. I want to see these because I want to see what path you took, the win or the spin. Which one did you take? All right, I'm Boris signing out. Have a great weekend. Stay healthy out there and thanks for drawing with us.